Hello, my loves. Right, I know it's premature, but I'm changing Chloe's nails because she's decided she's going back to uni soon because she misses her friends. So um, I've actually taken off the gems and just buffed, her, filed and buffed her nails to reshape them. They're not ready for an infill yet. So although the cuticles might look a bit ropey because she nibbles them, they're actually not ready for an infill. I'm going to be using the brand new Madame Glam's collection. It was for their anniversary. It's just been released. It's a super stunning collection. Really, really colourful. Um, and I'm going to do some wild nails with all the different things that have been trending on Instagram. And she wanted them all on her nails. So the first colour I'm using is birthday cake. Oh, and I'm gonna chuck some crystals in there because, uh, hello, it don't mean a thing if you ain't got that bling. Right, full nail of birthday cake. It's a really cute color. So we'll pop that on and then cure it for 30 seconds. So each nail in this set, like, okay, that, that doesn't make sense. Each nail on this hand is going to be different. The other hand matches, but this hand. I, I feel like I'm digging myself in a verbal hole. Basically, we're doing a different design on every finger, but the same design on the other hand. So the two hands will match. That makes sense, right? Oh God, I hope it makes sense. Anyway, cure that for 30 seconds. Onto the other side, doing the same. She's like getting her nails changed twice a week. She's loving it, but I, I she's going back to uni. So who's gonna be my hand model? I don't know what I'm gonna do. I'm loving working on other people's hands. There we are. Into the lamp. Time for the second layer of that beautiful birthday cake shade. I've got a discount code for Madame Glam. I think it's Sarah30 or Sarah B30. Anyway, it's in the description box. Um, or if you're like me and you're a VIP member, you get everything for half price. So yeah, I'm a v I am pay for VIP every month. It's like £21 a month. And then um, I generally, I used to choose three new colours a month, but now I just let it build up. And then twice a year, I have a massive blowout and buy everything. Stock up on like essentials. Okay, so once I've done that, the two layers, I'm going to go in with the matte, the velvet matte top coat. And give that a 30 second cure, because we're going to do some freehand swirlies with these gorgeous colours. Check, these are all from the new collection. Stunning they are. So they're called Razzles Pink. Then we've got Bubbles Troubles. This one's beautiful. Pink About You. <laughs> they make me laugh. And You're One in a Melon. <laughs> okay, so we're going to do some of these like swirly trending designs. You know what I'm saying? I'm just going to use my Madame Glam Fine Detailer Brush. And I'm gonna give it a swirly woo wee like that. And then just kind of fill it out a little bit. And I will make it a little bit bigger. Because we're gonna kind of, you know these trending designs where you've got swirls of similar colors, but different shades, like different shades of pinks or different shades of blues. We're gonna do that kind of thing. But obviously we're gonna give it a twist because um, we like to do things a bit differently here over on Sarah B's channel. <laughs> so yeah, I started off like that and I was like, mm, maybe a bit bigger, just maybe a little bit bigger here and there. So a bit bigger here, bit bit bigger at the top. Can you hear that noise? I think my son needs a new Xbox. That fan sounds like it's dying. Oh yeah, for those of you who follow my social media accounts, thank you. I had lots of well wishes for Oliver. He's been really poorly for just over a week. Um, and uh, yeah, he's been given antibiotics and asthma inhalers. Uh, we didn't even think he had asthma, but apparently he's got virus triggered asthma or something. I don't know, but he's been really poorly. He hasn't been in school for over a week. And thank you to Just Joe, by the way, because Just Joe, nail addict, saw on social media that Oliver wasn't very well and sent him some Lego. And it made his week because he was so fed up. He couldn't play. He was really fed up and really under the weather. So thank you. Um, oh, what am I doing now? I'm going in with the next colour, which I don't know what it is, but it's one of those ones that I showed you earlier. <laughs> that helps, doesn't it? And we're just going to paint around the swells. Some will be thick some will be thin and we just have fun with it there's no rule 
it's really just a free-for-all, do what you want sort of thing. Looks a bit like a heart, doesn't it? And then they get 30 second cure. And then in with the next colour. And you, you see how this is going? Some are thicker, some are thinner. And we just give it a swirly woo. It's just fun. Uh, you can do it, uh, is what I will say. All of these designs that I'm doing today are totally beginner friendly and really, really effective, but very, very simple. And a lot of the time, it's the colour combinations that make them look so cool. The actual thing itself is quite simple, the technique. If you can hold a brush and wiggle it, you're good to go on this design. It's just uh, control, isn't it? Make sure you lean your pinky finger. You see, I'm resting my pinky finger on my other hand. So always have your arms on a nice firm table. Don't try and do these things with your arms in midair. It won't work. And um, just support your hands and you'll be good to go. So well, yeah, we're just extending the swirlies, filling them in. Curing them for 30 seconds. They look cute, don't they? Chloe wasn't sure. She was like, Mum, Mum, what are you doing? I was like, just trust me, darling. Trust me. It will be all right. She loves them in the end, but she was a little bit freaked out when I started just doing random squiggles on her hands. So, yeah, filling that one in. So we've done a slightly thicker one there. And we'll just kind of work it as we go. Now I do later on add some white gel in between to give a bit of definition because I felt like, I don't know, it just needed a something. It needed a zhuzh, needed a little je ne sais quoi. Um, so I kind of, yeah, did that in a bit, but I'll, sh I'll show you that. We'll just fill those in there. Beautiful. Um, if you're new to my channel, by the way, hi, thanks for uh, subscribing and give us a like and all that massive stuff. It's so cool. Um, <laughs> don't forget, I run beginners training in hard gel and acrylic. The links will be in the description box and also like crystal placement training, stuff like that. I also have some general uh, nail art courses that are on my website. I'll link my website in the description box. And I have a huge collection of original crystal mixes and um, Gerald and his family and lots of products and stuff like that. So you need to check out the website really because there's too much for me to tell you and there's so much more coming. I can't even, oh my God. You know when you know what's coming and oh, just, I'm so excited. You guys are gonna just be so excited because you've asked me for these things for a long time. And I have been working so, so hard on these products. And um, yeah, it's taken a really long time to get these right. Okay, so as you can see, I've just taken one of those shades and I'm just doing a little top cuff, like a half cuff. I just, I, it needed it, do you know what I mean? Quick cure. Then I'm gonna grab Madame Glam's white art gel and give it a little swirly woo just here and there not over every single one i just felt like there was little bits where it would benefit from the definition sometimes the colors were just slightly close in pigment and i don't know it adds a different element as well doesn't it just changes it up a little bit so we'll just give that a little swirl there Whee! And I think I did one along the top cuff as well. Yes, I did. There we go. Really quick and simple look. So we cure that. And then Chloe said, you've got to put crystals on it. So I'm using the Golden Shadow Mix Pack. Look at those. They're stunning. They're available on the website. And a little bit of Builder Gel. And we're going to pop them in this corner. Just do a little cluster of three. She just said, I need bling. Okay, I fully appreciate that. You are my child. So we're going in with the bling. Beautiful. Okay, so we're literally just popping three crystals in. 
I couldn't tell you what size they are. That might be an SS10. I'm not sure. It might be, um, yeah, 10 and 8. It looks like it might be a 10 and 8. But this is just me guesstimating because I didn't check the size of them. Look, really cute. So that'll be cured. And then we'll top coat the nail with velvet matte top coat. To be honest, whenever you do freehand work, your best bet is to use a matte top coat. Unless if you really desperately want it to be glossy, then encapsulate it with something because all the lumps and bumps from your freehand painting will show up with a gloss top coat and it will make the whole nail surface just look uneven because it is uneven. So to make it look flat, either use a matte top coat or encapsulate your work with a, with a hard gel or acrylic and then top coat. Otherwise, it doesn't show how beautiful these designs are because the light is bouncing off and making the nail surface look really uneven. Like this look, that does not look very nice because it's all uneven. See what I mean? But when it's got a matte top coat, it'll look beautiful. On to the next nail, we're using the green colour Jenna. I bloody love green. I didn't realise how much I do love green, actually. I really love it. And this is a beautiful colour. So we're going to do two layers of this. I, I will shut up a minute and just let you appreciate this beautiful colour. Now we're using Madame Glam's Blooming Gel. And what you do with the Blooming Gel is you place a layer on the nail and you do not cure it, you wait. And I have tried other gels like base coats and stuff instead and they do work, but I will be honest and say that I find Blooming Gel does its job. It's designed, it's got the viscosity to do what it's meant to do. And we're going in with the color Matty from the new collection and a dotting tool, really simple. You don't need any skill level for this, just kind of create a weird shape. It's sort of like a rounded rectangle, but not even particularly perfect at all. And the, what the blooming gel does, so you're placing this color on top of the uncured blooming gel, and what that does is it disperses the color a little bit, and it gives it this really super cool effect, as you will see. When I pulled these colours out, Chloe looked at me and went, what, Mum, what are you doing? And she just, um, she was in awe at the end. And then I'm just going to take a smaller end of the dotting tool and just do little dots around the edge. Just tiny little dots. And it's like that kind of snake skin or crop print or whatever you want to call it. I don't know, I'm not a professional in animal hide. <laughs> But it looks really cute. I really, really love it. There you go. Once you're happy with the dispersion, so once it's at a level you want it to be at, 
stick it in the lamp and cure it. I did a 60 second cure because I thought, well, I've got two layers on and I'm doing exactly the same on the other now. As with the other ones, I'm actually going to do a matte top coat on this as well. Although this surface would be quite even if you want a gloss top coat, I just didn't. It looks better. For me, my opinion is that it looks better with a matte top coat because it really shows. Again, the light doesn't bounce off, so it really shows the design. On to the next nail, and we're using this really bright colour. No buns, no glory. This is neon. This, this is bright. My camera was like, what? So we'll get that on the nail first. Then we shall go in with a layer of the matte top coat. Look how bright that is. See how good that green and blue one looks with the matte? It's super good, isn't it? Super good. Right, matte top coat into the lamp. And then we're going to use the Madame Glam's black art gel. There we are. Gel paint, whatever you call it. It's really good. And the fine detailer brush. And we're going to do these little weird face things that are trending. I don't know what they are. I don't know who started it. And I don't know why everyone loves them. But the youngsters dig them. I mean, I'm nearly 40. This is not my kind of stuff. But the young kids, they dig them. They love them. They go mad for them. So, yeah, just two crosses for the eyes. Really simple. And then you can either do a straight mouth, a wiggly mouth, a tongue sticking out, whatever you want. I did a wiggly mouth with a tongue sticking out. Um, and it's just, you know, a wiggle, really. Just like a wiggly smile, look. And what I do is you start one end and then I join the other end up to it because it's easier with the brushwork to do it that way. There you go. Two little lines at either side. And then we'll cure that. This gel is 60 second cure because it's a lot thicker in consistency. And then I'm going to get the pink gel paint and do a tongue and because it's a super pigmented gel paint it works absolutely fine over this really bright uh, neon colour. Seriously the gel paint collection if you haven't seen it I actually have one to give away in its display box and I keep meaning to get hold of the postage company to check where I can and can't post it to and I keep forgetting I apologise but I have got a giveaway of Madame Glam products and I will do it as soon as I friggin remember. So there's the tongue, give it a cure. And then we're gonna outline the tongue in the black and do a little line down the middle just to give it a little bit of structure. Really, really simple, there you go, done. 
and that's that had a matte top coat as well onto the last nail we're using birthday boy actually it's not the last nail lilac you lot you a lot lilac you a lot and bubbles troubles and i'm going to apply them with a dotting tool because we're going to do a marble nail so i've sped it up a little bit now i'm doing it i do marbles all different ways and today i'm doing it this way i'm taking a blob of gel on a dotting tool and just distributing it so that i have kind of equal amounts of each color because that's how i wanted it sometimes you can put them on a palette and mix them and then lift them and put them on the nail but because i want a whole nail of marble i find this way a little bit easier got a bit more control so you could even use this as some weird camo pattern couldn't you that would look quite cool um because the, the gels are pigmented, you only need one layer of this, obviously. You can't do this with gels that are not very pigmented, it won't work. And we're gonna just tuck it in there and join them up and add little bits. And then we're going to use a detailer brush to do the marble. So don't cure it, leave it wet. Okay, get your detailer brush and um, we'll get to work. So first we're gonna tidy up that cuticle just join them up, really easy. And then we're gonna start the marble. And first I'm just keeping it simple, dragging it through, nice and easy. And then I start doing more kind of areas that I want to merge. And slowly but surely, it just starts to look a little bit more marble. And obviously drag it in from the sides if it starts to gather, you don't want any gathering product. There you go, into the lamp. And we'll give that a matte top coat, really simple, really beginner friendly nail art. Can't get over that weird face, don't even know what they're called, but it's cute isn't it? Let's call him Fred. Onto the thumbs and they are full bling. I'm using the Blush Bliss collection, this is a massive collection on the website, it's nearly 700 hand picked crystals. Um, it's an original mix for Alina's, so you won't get it anywhere else because it's ours <laughs> and i'm going to use builder gel and we are combining some quirky shapes we're just going for it just to show you guys this is the large heart which is kind of offset so it's not central it's offset it's slanty like the cute comic book hearts it's really cutesy and the facets all join in the middle so it's really beautiful and then i'm going to add a small diamond at the side and a medium-sized navette and then a couple of the, I want to say like SS, maybe SS6, they're either SS4 or SS6 round flat backs. There, and we'll, that's the first stage, we'll give that a cure. And then we're going to come back in with more builder gel and start tucking it in and dragging it down. And we're going to do a trail of round flat backs coming from there. All the way down. And we're going to tuck in some of the silver caviar beads, which are also, also available on my website. Tuck them in either side of the round flat backs. They just, I don't know why, but they just give it some zhuzh, don't they? These silly little beads, right, that have always annoyed me. And I now stock them on the website because I bloody love them. But they still do my head in. But I love them. They're just so effective. And I did exactly the same on the other thumb. We'll give it a cure. Try and get your client to rock their finger side to side when they're curing clusters like this, because you want to get all underneath it. Unless you're using adhesive, of course, then it doesn't matter. Then we're going to go in with the matte top coat, tuck it all in around the crystals, not over the crystals. Get the detailer brush to do the final details of the filling in, and it also helps seal them in place as well. And I think this set actually it's pretty banging i mean it's mad but it's like chloe said it's party season for the uni students and stuff they're all out partying they want crazy nails especially because these bright gels glow under like led light so um she's loving that she's all for it she's off to festivals and god knows what as soon as they can so yeah She's digging them, but she's still got the beautiful feminine blush pink crystals. 
And, and that's the set. I really, really hope you've loved this video. Check out the description box for details on where to get all these products from and discount codes. And I will see you in my next one. Tally bye.